Oh my goodness, look right here. A little tiny paperweight. Let me try my little light on it. It looks like it's gonna be a glowy. Good. What about this? <laughs> oh, yes, yes. And I have to have the inchworm or the bookworm. Or a piece of... No, it's not a piece of poo. <laughs> Mike, we just had a small earthquake. He just had a really bad reaction to something. What? Well, now you have to show me what. He's gonna be my first guinea pig. I know he's a bird. Um, but he's going to get dremeled, and um, he's going to like it. Which one? It's the ladies walking by, thinking we're crazy. It is a beautiful Southern California day. Drop the kids off at the pool. We're going to Fred's Goodwill. What? <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. Mike just told me what that means. To drop your kids off at the pool. I literally dropped my kids. We, we literally just... <laughs> Put our children over at our friend's house. Play so, in the pool. If you're thinking anything else, <laughs> like he is, no. We are going to Fred's Goodwill though. <laughs> He's still laughing at this oh. drop the kids off at the pool thing. <laughs> Wait. Oh my gosh. Did you drop your kids off at the pool today? I've already done that today. <laughs> anyway, this is Fred's Goodwill. And we hope Fred's here. We love Fred. Hi, we're Julie and that guy Mike. We started thrifting together for fun, for adventure, and to see what vintage treasures are out there in our local Southern California thrift stores. I can't believe this is now my full-time job. Subscribe to see where we're thrifting, what we're finding, and what kind of mischief we have in our local thrift stores. We'll share with you the valuable, the odd, the vintage, the sentimental, and the beautiful things we find. Now come along and let's see what new exciting things are on the shelves. It's another thrifting video, and we love taking you with us. Thank you. Hi, thank you. Uh-oh. Look. They have, like, little surprise bag things. Oh, this is, why is this so heavy? And they're only, okay, a dollar or, no, I think they're all 25 cents. I'm gonna have to grab some of these for Sadie. Holiday bags. Okay, we'll come back to that. We'll come back to that. They do color coded end caps here. I wanted to see what this is. Oh my, look how cute. You can you can cook your candle in there. Put potpourri, I'm sure, in there. Does this have a brand? Ten bucks though. I've had one of these before and it sat for a long time before it finally sold, so I'm kind of hesitant to get that. So. All right, Trink Island, I'm letting you take the lead, Mike. Mike found, are they salt and pepper shakers? Grab them for my projects. $1.99 each, I'll take those. I see something here. Oh, these are, these are um, wine charms and they are Hawaiian themed. Okay, so I'll go ahead and say this right away. This Thursday on the Knit Shopping Network, we are having a Hawaiian themed sale because it's a fundraiser for the victims of the Maui Fire, which will be a one year anniversary, believe it or not. And the announcement is purple tags, Mike. Purple tags. Purple tags. So can you grab this? I think I will put that in the cart. What's attached to this? I think it's an ornament. Oh, it's a trinket box. How $1.99 is a good price. Let's see what's inside. Oh, it's a music box. Is it not working? Do we have to wind it? Okay, let us investigate. We're going to put it in the cart and see if we can figure out if it needs batteries or something like that. Oh, did you find another shaker? Good one. I'll grab that too. It's purple too. What's the price on it? Oh, we're gonna get it for like 50 cents. I'll clean that up and make it pretty. Ooh, look at that. Oh, that's so pretty. An not an octopus, what's it called? A jellyfish? jellyfish. I love that. What's the price, $2.99? Yeah, we'll take that. Really pretty. These are like incense, oh no, bird feeders from, from Target. I thought it was an incense thing with that stick, but I guess it's a little stick for them to stand on. Oh, these are old looking. 
good prices today so far. You want a Marvel Dolphin? Oh yeah, I do. Yep, I do. I do really good with stone creatures and critters. Oh my goodness, look right here. A little tiny paperweight. I bet that's... Look, just you were just looking at that? Um, can I, let me try my little light on it. It looks like it's going to be a glowy. It's got a big one. Oh yeah, look at that. Glows. It's so cute. I've never seen a little one like that. It's like the size of an egg for a dollar forty-nine. Love that. Okay, Mike. I really thought I saw your name on this. Life is short, Mike. While you still have teeth. That's what I thought it said. That's what I thought it said. Okay, he's. <gasps> what did you find? Find a goose. Oh my gosh. A goose sun catcher stained glass. He's a goose. That's too adorable. $1.99, people. These are great prices, Fred. Thank you, Fred. What is this pretty color thing? Avon with a gorgeous boho box. Avon floral medley perfumed candles. All right, let's see what those look like. What about <laughs> this? <laughs> yes, yes. Is it $1.99 or $99? Uh, $3.99. Oh, what? It's a salt shaker. Oh, I'm going to repair him with a little paint, and I have to have the inchworm or the bookworm. Or a piece of... No, it's not a piece of poo. <laughs> Mike, do you want me to sell that or not? <laughs> it's not a poo. It's clearly it's a worm. The it's of the day. Polka dot. <laughs> it's a <laughs> we'll drop him off at the pool. We'll drop him off at the pool. Okay, I'm sorry. Back to this. Can you can you um, unveil what's in here, please? After we, ooh, <laughs> oh, that's a very vintage rose pedestal. It's a oh, thing. that's what it is. Or it's loose sight though. It's a curtain. It might go on the back of a door. Curtain. curtain. Oh, it's a curtain. So that's really your, pretty. You hold back a curtain like this is the. Mm-hmm. I understand hold. the concept, Mike. Yeah, um, how much was that? Yeah, yeah, it's really pretty. You know, women love to also like attach that to the wall or a door and hang their necklaces on it. Okay. Or mend their ties. There's like crazy sounds going on in here right now. Yeah. No. Okay. Yeah. Okay, back to this. Can you please open this? Oh wait, there's another one. Okay, let's. Can you please open this? Which one do you want to open? This. The box is so pretty. Oh my gosh. They're are you kidding me? Those are candy. so cute. But the the packaging is everything. I might have and to pick up Avon, candies. which goes against goes against what I usually do. But I those think are this is pretty much the same thing. Well let's see if they're the same colors in the other box. It's a floral med medley, two uh -huh. perfume candles. I've already I've already said that. Okay. And here's the other one. Yes, here Two I'll hold this one. Candles. Can you see if they're the same color? Are you listening? Are you listening? What? Is it? Is it? Um, I'm gonna call it apricot and raspberry. Yes, it is. Yes. I wonder. Yes, I'm gonna sir. put. I'm gonna put yellow together and then raspberry together. I'll get both. I do. I do want those. And I want to see what this is. <laughs> Get out of there. I really don't want to be like finding a bunch of cute candle things right now. Oh my gosh. It's not like in the greatest condition. So that's my excuse for leaving that there, even though I like it. It's kind of an interesting box in the metal aisle here. 99 cents. It was Smith Smith Grafted. Let's see, it's hard to open. May I have your assistance? For that. I don't know why I like sometimes these tin trays. De here. Made in England. 99 cents. Oh, I don't want to know if it smells. <laughs> no, yeah, thank you. It smells like perfume. Oh, it does smell like perfume. That's not as bad, but still, it's really strong. No thanks. 99 cents for this one, though. It's in really good condition. I think I will 
picked this one up just because the price is so good. Even if it doesn't command a lot on resale, it's light to ship too. Okay, I found this really pretty, um, I'm trying to figure out how to describe this. It's like a lacquered wood and then an inlay kind of mother and pearl flower. How'd I do there? It's really cute. $2.49. Look at that. And then look at this for a pot. It's a snail. It's probably like from a dollar section. 49 cents though. Can't put him away, he's so cute. <laughs> he's cool, but I think he came from like, you know, like a TJ Maxx Ross kind of situation. Mm. What's this? Just a decorative ball. There's three of those. Oh, they are. I'm distressed. I'm distressed. I'm distressed that I'm attracted to the lusterware things, but I don't think most people are. So I'm not going to be tempted today by that. All right, moving on. This is what Fred's Goodwill looks like. It's not a very big store, but we just love them here. Very good prices. I passed this up last time. Yeah. Oh gosh. Terrible condition. Move on to this little aisle here. Jules. Yes. Thank you, Mike. Is that a bird bell or like? It's a. It's a. Uh, bird bell. Oh, it's a palmander. Palmander. No holes in the top, though, huh? No holes in the top. Bummer. I would have. I would have made something out of that. I wonder if I can remove the string and do something out of that. Hold on. And then, darn it, another lusterware thing. Isn't this cute? Is anyone agreeing with me? It's made in Japan. That is cute. $2.99. I'm looking at this. You know what? Oops, sorry. I don't think I'm holding that on the screen. Hmm. Guess what? Yeah. I'm um, taking the string out of this and making a project. Okay. The wood aisle. Wood on that side, baskets on this side. This brings back so many memories of childhood parties and picnics. You put your paper plate in there and have a barbecue. Oh my, look at these paper mache creatures. They are really creepy and interesting. Wow. I just. I don't know anything about that kind of thing. And they kind of, <laughs> they're kind of creepy. Oh, he found a trinket box. $1.49. It's like wood? Oh, it's, um, oh, it's just plastic. It's just plastic, so. Yeah, I'm gonna put that one back. Did you find a stool sample? I made that up, guys. I made that up. Not him. I was going to say it, but... No you, way. You really were? I was just oh, no. I'm hanging it. around with him way too much. And that's what I was trying to say. Sorry. I'm going to quickly check out the glassware, see if there's any, you know, hidden treasures. But I'm not really interested in too much glassware right now. These ball jars are kind of cool. It's an unusual shape there. It's a nesting mason jar. Okay, that's cool. I'm gonna see how those, I wanna see how those nest. Have you guys ever seen nesting mason jar, ball jars before? Darn it, why I keep finding things I don't wanna find, but they're cool. $1.99, let's see if there's any more. Just found another one. That guy might get to hold these for a moment. If there's four, I'm gonna get them. What about these? I like this little. Icy block ice, icy block glass. There's four of them actually. Um, any more nesting mason jars? Don't drive me crazy if I see it on playback later. <laughs> you can't see it. It's hard to look through all the clear glass. 
this is when I say I'm gonna turn off the camera for a moment. I'm not seeing the last one. This is beautiful glass. I like that ribbed pattern. It's very makes it very sparkly. Oh, so frustrating. Okay. I am going to look them up just because I'm curious of the value of nesting mason jars to see if it's worth picking up three. I'll also see something pretty up here, but I'm not sure who makes that. What is this? That 69 some sort of beer pitcher. Oops, somebody's car is gone off. I'll just go. That's a pretty pattern. Made in USA. Okay, what are you distracted about over here? Okay, I find this nesting nesting ball jar. Jars. Yep. Maybe on another aisle. I look for. <laughs> Clear glass is the worst thing I could have you looking through. Yeah. All right. Maybe we'll find it on the replay and have to come back. Okay, I don't know if it's all Goodwills, but I see that they've returned to a 99 cent mug. So that's different unless you get this one. It's 2.99. Why? Oh, because it's Starbucks. Um, but most of them I see are 99 cents. Let's check the oversized. Oh. $2.99. I'm lying to you guys. There's a dollar ninety-nine. <laughs> okay, I guess I'm wrong. I thought they were starting to do all 99 cents. Yeah, I agree. I'm sorry. If you're watching this in the morning and you agree with that. For a dollar forty-nine. <laughs> it's so funny. Oh, it's chipped. Maybe that's why it's a dollar forty-nine. While I was blabbering away, they brought out a new cart. I also saw something over here. Oh, yes. How pretty. They do say made in China. But the price is right. The color is beautiful. Those are really fun. I'm finding miniature paperweights today. Aren't those pretty? Those are pretty. I hate to say it, I hate to say it Mike, but go we're going to have to go down this clear glass aisle to look for the last mason jar. Turn my cart here. Okay, here we go. I better keep talking because there is a rock and roll song. That's like for... Is there a dog playing with a toy in here? I'm just gonna go quickly here because I don't... Just because. Just because. Okay. What is that? How cute. Another little paperweight. It's an elephant. Do you, oops, all things is dropping. Do you have any issues, elephant? Okay, your, your ear's good. Your trunk is good. Your, your butt ski is good. You got a little bit of a rough patch there, but it's actually not a chip. It's just imperfection. How much are you? We'll have to find out how much they'll give this one to us for. Um, my guess is $1.99. That's pretty. Can I trade you? Well, trade this. Oh, that's an in another inlay. Yeah. Oh, I want I want to get the elephant. Oh, uh, there's pass. damage right here, Mike. On the edge. I'm sorry. I would have gotten that. I hate disappointing him. <laughs> What'd you say? Dang. Dang it. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, what? Oh, I guess he's a potpourri holder. Okay, would you prefer him in gold, white, or pink? They're priced at $8.99 though, so I prefer them not at all. I prefer them cheaper. I prefer them cheaper. Hello, little single lonely shaker that I'm going to rescue. You're going to be turned, it's a gand, you're going to be turned into a lovely project and your life will go on. 
All right, this is just becoming too much of a theme of this video, but we do use these, not for diapers, for cats. Not for $5 either. I found an item for me, for us. Pretty wrapping paper. You really can't beat $1.49 at the store. Um, it's kind of old looking though. I guess it's going to be okay. It's fashion gift wrap. I like getting gift wrap that's not, that can be used pretty much for any holiday. And well, that's a good one. Let that guy's hand go, Mike. What? what you are, you are out of control. Sorry. You're yeah. really you out of control. You just give me a hand. No. Who goes to a zero year old's party? Come on. What's going on here? Zero? Zero? True. We're not that dumb people. We know. We know. Something sparkly up here. Oh, how pretty. Looks like it goes atop something, but I think it's cute just how it is. It feels like it's um, lucite or some sort of plastic that can't, you can't deny that's got a good sparkle. No price on it, I just realized, but we'll see what they'll give it to us for. We just finished our Christmas in July sale, but doesn't mean we're not going to continue to pick up Christmas all year long. I do list on eBay all year long for Christmas. <laughs> That's really cute. Can I see what that says? It has real strings. Does it sing Feliz Navidad? Feliz Navidad. I'm okay with that. What, what is that? Did I just see Raggedy Ann? Yeah. Oh, she's done broke. <laughs> that's Only a, one side. Uh, that's an old thing. Hmm. Might have been Raggedy Ann. Yeah. Maybe was I want you to open this up. Is it a Harley? You can hardly stand the weight, can you? It's hot in here, by the way. I, generic. It's not a Harley. It looked like a Harley. Uh, nah, I wanted it to be Harley branded. But it's hardly a Harley. <laughs> he just had a really bad reaction to something. What? Well, now you have to show me. What? What? What in the... What is happening? <laughs> what is happening? I'm just going to walk away. <laughs> Let's look at this owl. <laughs> Cleanse our palate here. <laughs> really, really weird. Oh my gosh. Hey, that's good fake plants. Not for two ninety nine when it sold five. We need a better deal than that. Goodwill. Aww. It's a watermelon swing. <laughs> it is a watermelon swing. Let's see baby. who makes this. I don't think. Um, Colonial home. Wait, 99 cents, I'm sure. Oops, no, that I'm sure that didn't come with that. Is there a price on the bottom? 12. 12 99 yeah. It's cute. Someone will love that. Someone will come in and love that for their for their little one. What is this? Oh, it's got liquids in it. I don't I don't want those. I thought I just found a lucite pipe, but it's clone inside. Is it Avon? More like it is Avon. It's just Something I don't want to deal with. I'm going to do one more pass by the trinket aisle on my way out because I did see them putting some new things out. This is very interesting. It's numbered 1 through 21. What is this? Okay. I'm going to look into what this is. It's certainly not an advent. You're not going to do a candle burning, but... It's almost like an age thing. Okay, 12 years old, ride a bike. 18, graduate. 21, get married. Oh, that's kind of soon. Um, there's a stork. Teddy bear, toddler. Okay, they're like... Is there a reason for, to do that? I'm going to look into that. And then back here in the corner, I found... I found myself... More candles. I thought they were shakers. Nope. More candles. 
And then one more thing to check on the way out is that little pile of little bags of toys that were 49 cents. This is cute. That's an Avon. I saw something matching this on another shelf. You know, I'm curious. I didn't open it up, but I noticed the box map. So I'm going to I'm going to go put that next to it. Here's the matching one. It's just a little box, but I'll put it I'll put it next to it. Okay. So it's some sort of scented Z Z sand, like sand. That looks kind of fun. I'm going to get a few different colors. I'll show you what I got. Okay, out of this whole bucket um, there's only three different types, so I'm gonna have Sadie see what those do. Hey, Sadie. Yeah. I got something for you. Ooh. Can you see what they do? Um. I don't know. Kind right. of interesting, though. Go ahead and open them up and show us what they do. Open them. Yeah, open them. playing for a little bit. Clean up when you're done. <laughs> See ya. Yeah. Okay, so this is what our cart's looking like. I do have a couple things that I want to look up. Um, the Avon candles and the stackable ball jars. Alright, I have I'm sorry I turned my phone off because we just had a small earthquake. Not enough to knock anything off the shelves, but strong enough to fill it in a thrift store. We'll put on the screen right now what the earthquake stats are and where it was from. Crazy, crazy times. Hmm. Jaylee just called and said it was a 4.7 in Barstow. Barstow? Yeah, it's pretty good. Decent size. That's yeah. about how many miles from here? Sixty. Okay, so about sixty miles away. I actually am going to attempt a new project with this guy right here. He's going to be my first guinea pig. I know he's a bird, um, but he's going to get dremeled, and um, he's going to like it, unless it doesn't work. And I know it's crazed, but I kind of like it. Uh, he might be cracked a little bit. It might be such a big craze that it's cracking. I think it's just in the glaze though, but he's still going to be my first victim of the Dremel. You're just not even impressed at all I'm that I'm going to use a Dremel. You Did you know I have is. a Dremel? Yes. Okay. Okay. You have now reached the point in our video and thank you so much for being here with us. By the way, please subscribe. You've reached the point in our video where we do a few putbacks because I have to get in my right mind after I look up things for their current value and you know it has to go back i'm so kind of sad Ooh. it's the avon candles i i had a feeling they're worth like three dollars and fifty cents and i'm sad because it's the box it's the box that got me but those are going back bohemian. by the way if you want to see me dremel that bird <laughs> um you're gonna have to go over to the niche shopping network where i do my live sales it's uh free to watch free to um you know loiter <laughs> um, there's no pressure to buy anything we do sell live on thursdays at 4 p.m pacific mike i'm gonna have to say that part again since you touched a crotch we do sell at thursdays at 4 p.m pacific um, but i am going to be starting a new show 
um, soon where I'm going to be doing crafting. So live <laughs> crafting. And that's where I'm going to put that bird. I'm going to dremel him live. Is that like beating them up or something like that? Uh, he's going to like it. He's going to like it. And we're just going to give it a try. So um, here's the number you can text to get all of the alerts um, regarding when... I'm just, I'm just showing Mike while I'm talking here, while this is scrolling down below. Um, here's the number you can text to find out when all the hosts are going live. If you just want to know when I'm going live, you text One Way Vintage to this number on the screen. If you want to know when all the hosts go live I text the word all and I'm gonna have to find out if we can do a crafting only notification just do one-way vintage that'll let you know when I'm when I'm going live more details to follow that sounds fun and this is also what I make during my live crafting I'll put a picture here along right on top of Mike Mike put your arms out because it's right on top of your face right now there we go <laughs> isn't he such a good sport I really appreciate it. Wait, hold your hands. I'm going to put one on each hand right now. Aren't those cute? Which one do you like better? Which one? It's the ladies walking by thinking we're crazy. <laughs> I love you, Mike. You're really a good sport. Thanks. I love you too, babe. Oh, and the, there's candles everywhere, and it's so hot in here. Yeah. They're not melting yet? No, not yet. That's, that is old. What does it say? I don't know, but I'm pretty sure it says Kaka Monkey. <laughs> I'm just giving this to him to see what he does with it. What are you going to do with it? Do something with it. Come on. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. I have to blur that out, people. You know, we really could be in this trinket aisle all day long just doing very strange things. No, I don't and I feel like we should probably leave soon. Call the cops. <laughs> Look okay, for. here's the... Yeah, I'm sorry. We're putting back the mason jars. Mike, excuse me. There's one more in the cart. <laughs> this is going to come in really handy. Can you put those back? Here's what we found as far as the price. I'm going to put it right next to Mike's confused face. <laughs> They're just very readily available, and you can buy them easily with lids and everything. So as much as those are cool, they're going back. And they're just expensive to ship, too. Thing, huh? yeah. Can you get the last... <laughs> the last one. Oh, okay. You know I had to do it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> enjoy beating me up. Huh? A little bit, a little bit. With love, though. I have a surprise unboxing for a deck I make. It's a surprise box for you. I haven't actually opened it yet. <laughs> what is it? Oh, it's a socket wrench. Oh. Do you like that? <laughs> <laughs> I have one. Oh, okay. I thought it looked vintage and cool, and you never know what's inside. Okay, here's the damage from Fred's Goodwill. We spent forty-three oh four, Mike, and we did have to put back the little elephant because the cashier noticed a chip that I didn't. I, I looked him over thoroughly. It was one of his tusks. We're like gonna cut your finger. Oh. So we had to put him back. All right. But, yeah. Got some fun knickknack things and coming to you soon on the Knit Shopping Network or on my new crafting which is well that's also the Knit Shopping crafting. Network crafting time excited all right got a motorcycle going by so thank you guys for shopping with us and we'll see you on the next one see you next time like something you saw shop our store at onewayvintageshop.com there you can view all our amazing collections and recent finds. Or join us for our live sales Thursdays at 4 p.m. Pacific on the Niche Shopping Network. Catch all the exciting shows throughout the week. And be sure to join One Way Vintage on Thursdays. See you there!